are you guys? I'm Sarah. I'm Ryan. I'm your sis brother-in-law. <laughs> I'm your sister-in-law. I'm, I'm Laura's sister, the oldest one in the family. Address and social security number, please. I feel like I don't want to <laughs> give that. <laughs> what do you guys do? I'm a teacher. I teach middle school. I'm in the military. I work for the Oregon Army National Guard. What do you guys like to do for fun? Uh, when in Hawaii or when in Vancouver? When we're in Hawaii, we like to snorkel, we like to walk around and take in all the beautiful views and eat delicious food and sometimes even hang out with cool people like Laura. <laughs> and when we're home, we like to walk around and eat delicious food and, and explore. Sometimes hang out with cool people like Laura. <laughs> what do you guys think about me and Alex and what we do? Well, you know, we have to live vicariously through them. And a few years ago, my husband was saying, why does Laura always get to go on all the trips? And I was like, dang it, we need to go on some trips too. So that was when we booked our first trip to Maui. And then this time around, obviously they're traveling in the United States. And, um, and Laura said that we should come. And so we did. And we love to follow all their travels, and this time we're excited to be able to travel with them. I think it's pretty special that they're able to get out and about and see the world the way that they want to, and hang out in certain areas, spend months at a time, um, escape the worst of the Pacific Northwest <laughs> and make it back to the Northwest for the best of it, you know? Um, but it's, it's, it's pretty special the way that they've been able to work it out and uh, like Sarah said we get to live vicariously through the videos and, and just see all of the wonderful things and places that they get to experience. Thank so. you. Um, anything that you guys think that we should do different or could do better or I don't know any input for us? Advice? Wise words? Well we're just waiting until there's a show on Netflix about you guys because there's one about how to live mortgage free and there they need your tutoring because I wasn't that impressed honestly yeah I mean I think you guys are doing some really awesome things and we're just excited to see where your travels take you next I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't really know I feel like you guys already do a really good job of self diag or self analysis and trying to figure out how you can improve as it is so my hey. head's getting big back here <laughs> and how to make it work. I mean, you guys are doing something different this time by not moving around a whole bunch, and I don't know if, if that's something that you've liked better or not as much, but, you know, you're trying something different, and obviously you're in the United States and not abroad, so. I, I think that that's interesting, this, and how it's just evolved over the last couple of years, each trip that you guys have gone on, and how you've made it work differently each time. You know, like, whether it was the first time, it was like, okay, well, we're just gonna do this, and so we saved money for it, and we did it. And then the next trip is like, well, we're gonna do this, but we're gonna, um, you know, we're gonna buy this house and we're gonna rent it out, and we're gonna use the money after that to do it. And then now it's, you know, evolved even further to where right, with the trade, with you know, with the trade, yeah. now you're staying within, you know, uh, in somebody, somebody else's place, <clears throat> relatively expense-free, relatively yep. uh, for Hawaii, um, and you're just trading skills that you guys have and uh, I think it's awesome that you've been able to for you specifically Laura to be able to like take your skills as a, a yoga teacher to pretty much anywhere in the world I mean it's so impressive that you, you know you're teaching yoga in Thailand one year and then the next year you're just like I'm, I'm gonna teach in Spain and then the next year now you're like here in Hawaii and you teach classes multiple classes weekly um, I mean, yes, it's a mobile trade, but the, to, the ability to, to fit in in the different cultures each year without ever having lived there or anything like that before, and especially like when you're in Thailand, like you're in a different community every yeah. other week, and suddenly you're still able to find something that's common, and you, you've you been able to find your way into the, the um, industry, even in a completely different culture and in a new uh, environment, which I think is pretty awesome. So. Yeah. You guys got skills. Word. Although I Word. haven't seen enough videos of Alex skateboarding here in Hawaii. <laughs> Any words or advice for the people of the world? Well, my advice would 
advice would be figure out what you want and what you need to do to get what you want, what's important to you. If travel is important to you, then figure out how to prioritize it. You know, if a big house is what's important to you, figure out how to prioritize that. It's, you know, everyone has different things that are important to them and then you gotta do some figuring like Laura and Alex. There's no um, reward without risk sometimes. Uh, I mean, Sarah and I have experienced it ourselves. And sometimes it's got it's gone in our favor, and sometimes it's not. And so far, our, like the, the the risks that you guys have taken have been calculated risks, and and they've been in your favor and allowed you to do these these travels. And you guys again calculated those risks by figuring out well what is it important to me, and why is it important to me first. And then as soon as you establish that as a couple, you decided all right this is how we're going to do this, and and you made a path and made it. And, Build the forward. life you want. Exactly. Yeah. Well, y'all are adorable. <laughs> and I know that we're really happy that you guys got to come and stay with us. I definitely don't see y'all enough, so I appreciate the support and the vacay friends. Yeah. We'll be in. And now we're going to hopefully go see some turtles. Yeah. We are at the nature preserve down on the very southern tip of Maui. We made it. The road was a little sketch, but uh, we found a parking spot. We're excited to go snorkel. Any input? That was a pretty sketch road at the end. <laughs> <laughs> we made it. Go Corolla. Go Corolla. <laughs> the drive down to La Perouse Bay, or Kionio Io, as my Hawaiian friend Jamie says it should actually be called, is quite a fun one. Kionio Io is the Hawaiian name for this amazing area at the end of McKenna Road on the southern end of Maui. It's Maui's most recent lava flow, although how long ago that was is still debated. The area is a nature reserve, which means that fishing isn't allowed. Lots of people told us that this is the best place to snorkel because of this reason, saying that there are a lot more fish. When we got there, we weren't totally sure where to go, but we talked with people who were already there who showed us where to get in and where to head out to. Initially, the water was pretty murky, but it cleared up as we swam further away from shore. We ended up snorkeling and diving for a pretty long time, but it was a bit windy, so visibility wasn't 100%. What did we just do? Snorkeled. We did it. We saw so many fish. For like an hour and a half. Holy oh. shit, really? <laughs> yeah. It's, that's why we're tired. It's almost noon. All right, good workout. Now we got to go eat some food. What did we see? Uh, yellow trumpet fish. That was the coolest that thing. That was really cool. The scarred fish thingy <laughs> from uh, Finding Nemo. <laughs> All the uh, fish really, from Finding Nemo. A really Nemo. big rainbow fish, about that big. I chased it around and some other larger fish yeah, and we, some really pretty coral. <laughs> lots of lots of really pretty reefs and coral and stuff. We're at the beach, day two. We got a spot. Ryan and Sarah got a spot over there. It's hella busy, it's Saturday. See you at the beach. This was our second time to Big Beach, also known as McKenna Beach, and even though this is a very popular destination and there are a lot of people, I'm super glad that we came here again. Big Beach is a stunning, beautiful stretch of sand with turquoise water without any houses or condos lining the shores, so it's pure perfection, minus the hundreds of people. There are three different parking lots and the beach is, well, big. There's a bit of a reef a little ways out from the beach and some decent snorkeling if the water is calm, but it's not Maui's best snorkeling by any means. Regardless, it was still fun to come here with Sarah and Ryan to spend some time in the water and practice some free diving, which I have grown to really love. Here, Audrey's here. 